And McNeese State University is getting ready to graduate 670 students at the Legacy Center tomorrow. Plans are now underway for three cowboy camps this summer to start the process all over again. It's freshman orientation. Jacqueline Clark is here to talk about it. Jacqueline, it's a busy time at yes. the school. We were just talking about getting <laughs> ready for graduation, but you've got some cowboy camps coming we do. up. do, yes. So incoming high school students who just, uh, who just got graduated or they're graduating this semester, um, we're excited to have them come at McNeese for the fall of 23, 24, sorry. <laughs> uh, we have three orientations for the students. They're cowboy camps. They're two okay. full days where they get to learn a lot of information to make them successful as a student, but also have some fun and interact with their peers. Yeah, I always remember freshman orientation uh, sounding boring. It was <laughs> boring, but this kind of makes it interesting yeah. to, to be a cowboy. We huh? throw a lot of fun activities in yeah. there. We have a phone party for them at the end of the day. It's long, so we want to make sure that we have some fun activities. They get to go into the rec complex, play basketball, volleyball. We also have some other activities, some glow activities and org browse and educational browses. Good. It's a two day experience. Let's go over the dates. Uh, that are involved here. Yeah, so we have um, one in May, mm -hmm. June, and July. So the three dates, the main set summer dates, they okay. are two days. The students are required to come and stay the night. If they don't live in Capture Parish, they'll okay. stay in the dorms so they get to experience college. Yeah. And they'll leave that next day, and then we'll come back in August and have them come for a freshman convocation on August 18th right before school starts. What are some comments from past freshman cowboy camps yeah. uh, that you've gotten that people like about the it? The students love that they get to actually experience campus. Yeah. They, they get to be a college student and not technically be a student yet, but mm -hmm. it's their mm -hmm. first official day, and they love to be able to interact with other students and make friends. This also encourages them to be a part of the school and not just commute, right? Right, yeah. yes. So they get to meet all the student organizations that we have on campus. We have over 100 student organizations for them to be a part of. Mm -hmm. They get to meet some of our athletic coaches so they can see the athletic facilities and get encouraged to be a part of the whole atmosphere of Magnus. There's an international uh, cowboy camp coming yes. up in August. Tell me about that. So for our international students, they can't come to the States until mm -hmm. right before school starts. So the Friday before school on August. August 16th, the students, international students, and any student who maybe couldn't attend the other ones, they were late acceptance or they live far away, will be able to attend that right before school starts. Sometimes the public takes, uh, is kind of uh, forgets about all the international students that come to McNeese, but when you come to graduation, you see just how big of an impact We McNeese are has. one of the top schools in the UL system that actually has the most yeah. international students. We're very diverse. All right, very good. For more information, you can go to mcneese.edu and find out more about Cowboy Camp and freshman orientation, or you can email uh, cowboycamp at mcneese.edu. Jacqueline Clark, thanks for coming in. Thank you.